forget the Tour de France. There's only one race you really want to see, and that's me versus Lantern Rouge. Back in January 2018, these were the good old days. Lantern was a fledgling YouTube star. I knew the man at the time, and uh, we went for, out for a little ride. A couple others were with us, uh, but all you'll see on this is just me and Lantern. So here you go. Lantern on his BMC time machine. A true, a true classic bike. This is an interesting climb. It was about 15 minutes long. Uh, was on gravel. This is obviously tarmac, but it did get on some gravel. It had, um, you know, some ups and downs. We'll get into the power analysis later, as we do with all sort of races. Um, but at the moment, you can just see Lantern setting a good tempo on the front. 15k an hour up a 7% slope is is no slouch. And um, Lantern was a class rider back in the day before he gave it all up to become a YouTube star. And uh, now we don't get to see him much on YouTube on the Strava. Sorry, haven't seen him upload on his uh, on his account for a long time, but. Maybe we should start a petition back and get Lantern back on Strava. So that's what the real fans want to see. How many watts per kilo can Lantern push? Um, but yeah, so he was he was in Adelaide. I was in Adelaide. Um, I obviously had seen his videos back in the day. And uh, I was like, oh, I want to meet this lad, see what he's about. So I um, met him, obviously, and then, uh, and went for a little ride. So at the moment, he's just setting good tempo. You know, he's, Lantern's a similar weight to me, about 60, 62 kilos, something like that. Um, and uh, I was like, oh, I was ready to go. You can see my heart rate only 164. So we were cruising. We were practically nose breathing on Lantern's wheel. Um, and we were just ready to go. We were ready to launch. But I was like, we don't want to launch too early. You know, don't want to make a fool of yourself here. Let's just um, keep it going. But it was it was a tremendous day. I seem to remember it was pretty cool down here. Um, often it can be pretty hot in the harsh summer heat um, down in Adelaide in January. Um, I, I don't think I'd rode with Lantern up many other times this week. But um, Lantern, we now zoom onto the... Strada Bianca and Lantern is razzing the descents down here. I was a bit of gravel, obviously a bit cautious, don't want to don't want to stack it. Um, but Lantern puts a big gap into me. Uh, he does what he says the pro rider should do on the descent, really leaning into the corner. And um, to be fair, this gravel was actually a lot more grippy than I thought it was. I thought it was um, a bit horrendous, to be honest. You can see me on the pedals um, and into the final section of this descent. Um, and he is then put a bit of a lead up, but I was I was ready to go. And on this on this start steep I can't get my words out steep and short gravel to set a gravel um berg I was ready to launch it coming to the bottom at 33k an hour probably in the big dog at some point we're gonna have to swap into the small dog um but really punching it up to close to 500 watts lantern's also out the saddle razzing it and um pointing out some things as a good, as a good bloke does uh, on a climb such as this it's getting up to 10 11 percent we're going 18k an hour we're absolutely motoring past uh, we'll get back onto Lantern's wheel, um, but we're not going to be there for long, that's for sure. Uh, we can see the pace has settled down. It's only 240, 250 watts. Lantern checks with his shoulder, and he knows it's, it's business game over. Really, you know, go to the front, push push it on a little bit, 300 watts or so, get out the saddle, start to push it, and Lantern says, you know what, I've given up. Now, I didn't know this climb, so as we'll see in a minute, I'll make an absolute cardinal sin. I thought, I think we finished the climb. No, 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 we were not finished the climb. And, uh, we, you know, we put 20 seconds on, onto Lantern at this point. Uh, he then uh, then sort of waited and got back to about five seconds. Uh, and then Lantern said, oh, climb keeps going. So I was like, cheers, lad, cheers, lad. Um, so then we razzed it on the descent again. Uh, and we'll show you the final part. It's not too interesting uh, apart from this part because obviously just on my own, um, can't see anything. I was trying to overlay some graphics with the comparisons, but alas, my editing skills are too bad. I don't have DaVinci Resolve downloaded. And in order to download that file, it is about 10, 10 hours. So decided, you know, we're just going to go with Windows Movie Maker, what we love best. Um, Nick's old school footage. I'm pretty sure Lantern commented on the OG on the OG one, so I'll I'll link it in the description. All you OG followers from 2018 would know all about this uh, this absolute world class video. But I thought I'd upload it, um, get a bit of clickbait views, and uh, just show off what a class human being, or uh, class bike rider Lantern was back in the day. He used to ride with Peter Scan and everyone. Um, and gave it all up for the YouTube now, but he's a world-class YouTuber, so what can you say? Uh, so this climb is actually, it's not bad to be fair, 11% here, 12k an hour. I mean, we're not we're not flying here, are we? Let's be honest. We, we, we're not really on top condition. Uh, we, you know, we're doing five, five and a half watts per kilo or so up this little part. You know, nothing absolutely off the chart. Heart rate one, only 184, so you can see, you know, my max is around 200. So I'm just, you know, we're going hard tempo, but nothing, nothing bonkers. Obviously, the length of the climb is always good to know, and uh, I didn't know it. Um, but a bit of gravel, it's always good. I think it came top 10 on the segment just because no one rides gravel. There are only about 1,100 people who've done it, so not too shabby, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Um, used to think top 10 is quite hard, and I moved to Adelaide, and it was like, this isn't actually too hard. I think we saw a koala on the left there, a fair few in Adelaide. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I guess Tour Down Under won't really happen this year because no one can go to Australia because it's not allowed. So, um, yeah, I guess all, all, the, all the future vegan lads will be uh, very disappointed that they won't be able to go ride with 
and piss off the World Tour riders by riding on the back of them. Uh, but alas, it, it is what it is. Um, we now sort of ramp it up 12%, 14k an hour, really starting to get over, um, get on top of the gear and really start flying up this climb. What's are dropping a little bit. I think at this point, I'm like, you know what, mate? We put them in the bin and uh, this is the end of the climb. Uh, unfortunately, that was not the case. You can see here the power backs off here to about 40 watts. We're going 10k now. I lose a good 10, 15 seconds. I'm like waiting for Lantern. I'm like, oh, is this it? And then you can see literally come to a stop on the side of the road. I don't know how many seconds this is. Obviously, you know, the heart rate's coming down, so it's not like you're going to lose all the time. But it really wasn't ideal, to be honest. This. And then Lantern's like, no, no, mate, you haven't finished yet. So I was like, oh, right, 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 right. We'll get back on the front and we're going to razz this descent and um, decide that we couldn't have, couldn't get dropped on the descent. That's not what I'm about. Um, getting dropped on the descent for soft people. Um, and we, we were going to make sure that we uh, we flew on the descent down um, in this rural gravel. Now we've zoomed to the end of the segment because I just wanted to show you the last part was properly steep. It was getting up to 20% on gravel, which, you know, it's not an easy thing to do, that's for sure. Numbers are getting, you know, almost close to six watts per kilo here, which is really, you know, the, the, the pinnacle of cycling. When you can hit six watts per kilo for a, a short pinch, you really are on the verge of getting world tour, uh, which is what I thought back in the day. But alas, that is not the case. Um, and we're getting up, you know, getting up to close to the max now. We, we are the heart rate, 8K an hour, 17% on gravel. You know, obviously you can't get out your, out your saddle too easily because you can just slip. You've got to be pretty supple on the pedals, uh, smooth on the pedals with a good... Uh, Good fillet. What's it? I could. Um, I can't remember what the word is, but you all know what it is. Um, good when you're pedaling in a good, good, uh, good rhythm. Uh, but alas, we were not doing that. And uh, I think this is the end of the climb. And I'm cooked. You can see here down to 240 watts. This is like zone two back in the day. Well, now it wasn't it was like still tempo, but you know, pretty much zone two for these days. Um, so yeah, not ideal. But we're gonna get to the top ten. We're gonna see it, and we're gonna see Lantern's not there. Then we'll do a power analysis afterwards. Because, you know, we really got to bulk out the video, make sure this is really like a, you know, how Lantern analogizes. And I also enjoy analyzing footage. Go through the race footage first, then the power analysis afterwards. That is the best way, in my opinion, to uh, analyze such ferocious races as what we have just seen. So anyway, here we go with the top 10. I came 8th. Um, demonic Dam during That is a horrendous screenshot. We'll, we'll put something else better up. Uh, but yeah, there we go. All right, so this is the climb. It's a 4-kilometer climb at 6%. Uh, and you can see it's a pretty undulating climb, as you saw in the video. KOM 11.46, me with a, a distinctly average 14 minutes. Um, I was in 12th position. Back in the day, I was 8th. But, you know, alas, we'll um, forget that. So you can see I even got beaten by a Durham rider. Whenever you get beaten by him, you know you're, in a, you know you're having a poor day. Um, so anyway, on the 6th of January 2018, 273 watts for me, 269 for Lantern. Lantern is clearly uh, packed a couple extra kilos. Uh, but we can... Uh, we can analyze each of the rides. Um, so the beginning part here, uh, this is before, this is on the, on the tarmac, Lantern was setting an infernal pace of 290 watts. Um, alas, for myself, uh, this first part here was, um, I was obviously sitting on 270 watts, so a good 20 watts down on that part. Um, and then you can see the, the, the point where we really made the difference. Um, this part here, we just we just rode consistently at 316 watts for a good two and a half minutes, which is which is well beating power. I mean, I don't I don't want to boast too much, but you know, if you're doing that sort of power, you should be going well to already. And Lantern in three minutes was doing only 300 watts, and that's really where the, the gap was made. Uh, if we look at the comparison here, you can see there was a big gap here, 21 seconds. Then I stopped. Lantern came back, and then this last part here, he was just he was just losing time uh, significantly. So if we look at the end part of the climb, uh, it, it it really wasn't looking good for Lantern to be honest. Um, 295 watts for the last five minutes for me. Um, if we look at Young Lantern's power, um, again, equally stochastic, but 296. And uh, obviously, that was a significant difference. 1.2, 1.2 kilometers, 5 minutes 44, 5 minutes 23. Obviously, um, similar wattage, but just, just the way it happened there. So uh, anyway, cheers for watching. Uh, I'll link the original video below. Uh, obviously, lob us a subscription on Strava if you would... Uh, like to see more of my unreal training data. Lanterns <laughs> is 71 these days. Might have uh, puffed out a bit. But anyway, cheers for watching. And I uh, hope you enjoyed a bit of bant. Uh, we'll see you in the next one, eh?